Hello, this is Daniel Cornwall with another uh, short video for the virtual symposium port assignment in the hyperlinked library MOOC. Um, I live in Juneau, Alaska, but today I am at the El Jardín Secreto Hotel in Pistro El Rey, Chile which is uh, about 4,000 feet up in the Andes Mountains. And uh, this whole region is just magical. There are several people in my astronomy tour group that called it a, um, that called it like a Shangri-La. And this is gonna be kind of tight. I am tilting up a little bit so you can see some of the Andean peaks. Gonna do my usual 360. Notice the sunlit, sunlit peaks behind me. There's snow on them. It's spring down here in the southern hemisphere. And I kind of regret that in a couple of days I'm going to need to return to the winter of Alaska. And I'm just trying to come back here because this looks like a good, um, a good position uh, to record my video from. So... This video is examining my context book assignment, and that was Too Big to Know by David Weinberger. And first, I learned things just merely from having the assignment itself. And one of the things that I did was I did some teamwork. I looked at the uh, context book assignment and thought how great it would be if people had act if I had access to a list of um, the books that link to to reviews and ratings. And about the same time, uh, Andrea Malarkey was uh, creating a group on Goodreads for the Hyperli Hyperlink Library MOOC. So we got together and we um, built a context book list that linked every single title to the available uh, material on Goodreads. And then uh, Kyle was kind enough to link that to the main contacts book page. Now, it seems as though the participation in the Goodreads group was, uh, was light, at least on the contacts book side. But it was very valuable to me both to work with Andrea and uh, to have a list of um, ratings and, and reviews because that helped me to, um, to select my book. The other thing that I learned was that I learned the value of peer comments because, as some of you know, I put up a draft version of my assignment before I actually posted the final. And the final version includes input from uh, several different people. And, and thank you for that because it, it helped me get a shorter assignment. But I also learned that the assignment terms weren't set in stone which I'm very grateful for because I'm not sure how I could have boiled down all of the wonderful things that uh, David Weinberger had to say in um, three to five hundred words. Although maybe someday I'll, I'll make the effort for people with shorter attention spans. Turning to the book itself, I'd just like to highlight that um, there's a network emerging. I think that uh, David Weinberger is spot on with that. And libraries have the power to shape this emerging network in positive ways and we need to and we need to embrace them. And two ways that we can do that is we can advocate for open access and lead by example. You know, are we digitizing our collections? Are we ensuring that things that we own the copyright to are in the public domain or have no known copyright restrictions uh, actually um, being presented as such so that people can use them. And then we can build on our existing efforts to show people how to use and evaluate the net more effectively, or what Weinberger refers to as teach everyone. And finally, I think this teach everyone idea would be even more effective if it weren't just the public libraries doing this, but that if the value of empowered school librarians could be recognized and we could have people in the school libraries really teaching from early age how to be both good consumers and, and producers on the internet. 
Anyway, this is uh, Daniel Cornwell for the uh, Hyperlinked Library MOOC Virtual Symposium. Thank you for listening, and uh, here's a few more flowers for you to enjoy. Thank you.